Uh, good evening, everyone. I call tonight's meeting of the Deeper Boardwalk Community Oversight Committee to order. First item of business is agenda. If any proposed changes or additions to the agenda. Yes. Um, what um, can we have an update on uh, terms of reference? Um, what happened there? With, uh, so that is, um, is that in, yeah, that's yeah. that's by law eleven fifty eight dash one information items. Okay, perfect. Um, and then um, Alice had a motion at the last uh, uh, just before the last round table um, to request administration to verify if her previous motion could be. Uh, put forward and I was just going to address that in our round table today I have a big long thing to read to you guys okay yeah all right so that'll be round table all right and then um maybe this is round table too but um I had uh, two motions for the round table to have uh, uh to talk uh, to add information item about the beaver boardwalk as conservation area and the west area structure plan yeah, so those are two. Uh, yeah, those are few and they've been slated for March. They've been slated for March. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. there's some. Oh, I already touched base. I did? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, you went, yeah. Yeah, it should be March. We had to confirm that there, there's, there's need to get some subject matter experts, but yeah. Heather said she has touched base with them, so it should be March. Okay. All right. Good. Thanks. Okay. There's nothing further. We need a motion to adopt the agenda as presented. Herbert? Make the motion to adopt the agenda as presented. Thank you. All those in favor? Okay. That's carried unanimously. Agenda is adopted. Uh, adoption of meeting minutes from January 11th. If everybody's had a chance to read them, if there's uh, any comments or questions or any anything that needs to be corrected. Okay, if there's nothing, then we need a motion to adopt meeting minutes. I think I'd love to adopt meeting minutes. Okay, thank you, Trevor. All those in favor? And that is also passed unanimously. And that brings us very quickly to our first action item for the evening boardwalk pilings and decking specifications draft one. I'm so sad that Doug isn't here today. I know. I know. I'm so, so excited. So yeah. excited. Um, so what I've done is I have um, included this right now as a tentative addition, as an appendix to our parks, open spaces and trails master plan. Um, as part of the tactical plan with council this year, parks is um, looking at doing some additional documentation for our area. So at this time, it makes sense for this to reside in this document. Um, and that will be ratified by council later on in the year. Um, but we can accept it or you guys can ask me to amend it today and then it'll get formalized as part of those other documents um, later in the year. So um, just put a bit of the background information that was um, already included in some of the other documentation that we have about Borbog. And then I pulled together um, with our engineer this image here. Oh, can you guys all, you guys all have this in front of you? It's this one. No, it was sent to the agenda. If you guys want me to put it on the screen, give me a second and I can log in. Can you guys all see? Are you guys looking at it on your computers? Yeah. Yeah, I found it. It's just printer. Yeah. Looks like everyone has a copy, okay. so we probably don't need to screen share. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm just looking for feedback I put in what uh, the motion had asked, which was that we use the fine line specifications. Um, so all the detailed information has been included here. And then just um, for further clarity, if you scroll down, um, I've had our, our parks lead hand took some photos of the new section for us. So I've include, included those um, as, as addition to the, the schematic drawing. Questions, comments, concerns, requested changes. Oh my God. Um, just on the diagram, yeah. um, it labels things or some of the the boards as existing or new. Mm. Maybe just remove existing or new, the status of each board. 
Love this question. Thank you so much. Um, I went through this like four times trying to decide exactly that. And the reason that I went with existing and new is because if we put out a tender at this point for the boardwalk, they're going to be dealing with what's existing. And we have request what fine line did was whatever they could salvage and move, they did. So that's why I've described to them what we currently have and then what is um, new being being put in. Okay, so this would be product specific, but correct. Yeah, there's one in the future. This one just be slapped on the back. It'll be just updated to whatever. Okay. I could follow up then sure. with a clarification. So if the decking is in such poor condition that it can't be reused on the uh, tender, it would it would say new 38 by 98 instead of existing. Correct. And there's okay. would be verbiage in the tender that says that. Okay. Right. Whatever can be kept and usable should be, and then new, just let us know if it's gonna cost. What else? Okay. I, I have a question. Okay. So if this is going to be uh, codified in the uh, Trails Master Plan, is that what you said it's going to be? Um, so this is in the Parks, Open Spaces, and Trails Master Plan. It'll form an appendices to that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, come the time when, it, when our request for tender is going to be issued, how does the tender requester use this information to develop a tender to get pricing back from contractors? This goes in the Okay, so they so they draw out of this and use it to inform the tender document before it goes out to tender. Right. Okay. okay, anyone else? Any other comments or questions or suggestions? Okay. One Thing I'm wondering now is in the absence of that, do we want to adopt this or do we just want to table it and bring it back? He's kind of our really technical person. So if he really, to me, he's the one that was going to pick it apart and tell me what I missed, if anything. Yeah. I'll move to the table and bring it back. Does that make sense? Well, we can all. Okay. Uh, Jan? Just keep in mind that he may not be coming back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, just as per his email. Yeah, so yeah. maybe yeah. We, we put a limit on it, like table it to March, and it's not going to March. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And then it automatically comes back. It's up to you, Beth, but oh, if, if you set it postpone it until March, yeah. it'll automatically come back in March. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that, is that what you want to do then? Do you want yeah. Postpone until March? Just postpone until March. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You don't want to leave this go too long. Was that just consensus or is that a uh, motion? No, that's, a, that's a motion, yeah. Okay. That, that, that Any agenda item that gets postponed has to be my motion and then okay. we'll, we'll see consensus. Okay. okay, so this, if there's any comments or questions about the consensus request to postpone this item until March, uh, we'll keep our comments to that. Uh, and before we move on, if there are any other additional comments or questions, we will we'll have the opportunity to do that. So just calling this to question isn't going to end this conversation, just to be clear. Okay. So are there any comments or questions about the uh, consensus request to postpone the decision until March? Okay, seeing none, we'll call the question. All those in favor? And that was also carried. That's carried unanimously. Uh, I did have an additional question, actually. This the fine line specification that they used uh, was regular steel helical tiles. The tiles that are being used for the bridge ramps are galvanized steel piles. And I was under the understanding that the galvanized steel piles have a longer working life and that's why they were selected. So if we're going to codify, is there a reason we would want to codify regular steel rather than the galvanized? It wasn't quite regular. I did double check on it. This A252, as I understand it, does have a rating for water um, up to 75 years, but it starts to grow before that, right? Like that's when it's now done. It's You can't use it at the 75 years. So yeah, I think if we were to do you know, if best practice is galvanized, that's what we 
want to be putting in there, um, but I'll leave it to the group. And you guys can ponder it because it's coming back in March. Okay, I'm good with that for now. Okay, anything else? Anything further? Okay, there's no other comments regarding the filing uh, and decking specification. We'll move on to discussion items. 1.1, 1 .1, 2023 boardwalk operational maintenance plan. Spruce John? Yes. Just before I pass it over to Chad, sorry. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know. So we did include the chart for you guys. This information is based on what the crew and Chad were able to assess in the fall before it snowed and what they were able to discern when we when the snow melted there for the most lovely two weeks of January ever. Um, so again, this could change based on what we see in the spring, um, but we'll we'll bring an update at that time if there's some kind of catastrophe out there. So this is just what's planned based on current assessment of last fall. Check. All right, yes. Uh, just as she said, um, plans change. I mean, if we get a dump of snow, that'll be our priority. But uh, I mean, we seem to be in the bubble and we don't get enough any snow. So um we didn't yeah, have uh, well, <laughs> kind of want to I want to do the cold weather. Um so this starting uh this month we're gonna try and do some uh signage research and design. I think uh that's just some maybe plants plan to put some more wayfinding signage in place. Um and then the tree. The tree. So the that's in section O, or near section O, I guess. Um, the, oh, yeah. We we checked. Uh, we've looked at the tree. It's still holding strong, but it is kind of getting lower and lower and lower. And uh, I think at some point, those roots aren't going to hold anymore. So we're going to take out the tree. Uh, we have a plan in place to kind of try and lower it slowly, but uh, we'll see how good of a Sawyer, uh, Jesse is, I guess. <laughs> see if you can do that. But uh, anyway, uh, so that's kind of a plan, plan for February. March, we're going to do um, section, section S and the old bridge, hopefully. Um, so we want to, so we were like thinking of, you know, trying to think of ways to work on. Uh, um, you know, the gravel section from S to like J and if, if need be, maybe get, a, you know, at least a gator in there in the summer. So we were thinking of that small bridge, removing the rails and putting wider decking on top, just so that we can get a gator across there. Um, so, and rails, of course, um, if we can. So that's kind of what that is alluding to. And was, yeah, so that's to if we need gravel on the other side there, if we need, uh, you know, there's that chunk of concrete I've been meaning to get out of there. I don't know what was there before, but yes, that needs to get pulled. Um, section S and C in April. So, um, so we wanted to extend that a bit by the bridge and. When we, if we need to work on that far side, that can kind of, because it's not permanent, it's not in the ground, it's not pile, with piles or whatever, it's just kind of a floating area, that section S. So it can be moved to the side or whatever if we need to work back and forth with the gator. So, but we are planning on extending that a little bit just because it's kind of a, a muddy area. Uh, and section C, we so that section, we wanted to work on that ramp at the end of it because it's quite steep and try and make it not so much. Uh, May and June, if we get the, once we get the bridge and all the areas that we can, we're going to do some uh, top up of aggregates, so gravel and such. Uh, June railing and stairs and landing near the apartments. So we kind of have a plan in place for that too. So it's we're not going to dig it out, but we kind of want to make it like 
more accessible, not so steep, and kind of we have a planet place. <laughs> Just to take a, a a note out of Beth and Bill and mm -hmm. Maureen's, because so we're going to try and re-establish that so it's not so so people aren't walking up the steep part and kind of coming down the side and. That's the idea there. Um, June MI, so sections M and I, there's a couple sections that are a bit wonky. So that we're just straightening and leveling. Um, at the same time, I think we'll probably do some uh, trimming of brush if necessary. Uh -huh. August, so definitely gonna try and do a thistle pull this year. Um, got a couple extra workers this year in the parts crew, hopefully. I actually haven't hired them yet, but so we should be able to make that happen. Timber, uh, section P, that's, there's a couple sections that we wanted to just bring them down a bit lower because they're quite high up from the ground and water areas, just to lower them maybe a six, eight inches or whatever, so they're not so high. Um, and then, and so like that, at that time we will lose most of our summer employer employment. So we'll try and after that, it'll be just like as necessary work or um, complaint driven work. And then uh, December or citizen, what do they call it? Citizen driven. Citizen driven, like so. Uh, and then December, the boulder transport, if we can get across the lake to bring for that rehab kind of of the nesting areas. You know what I mean? Along, I think it was along the J kind of section. I think you kind of yeah, that's might have pointed where, that out. Where the dogs were going down. Yeah. Allison, um, Beth and Alice, you guys were saying the dogs are going in there and you wanted us to potentially look at blocking off where vegetation has started to get trampled so that people aren't going down there and that's down here more yeah yeah that's yeah. more down this this yeah. area yes yeah, so we we're gonna bring in some yeah. like yeah. boulders so, or whatever not to, yeah what well, was that the trails so along the main not area, exactly but it was all going down yeah i'd have to go for a walk with you okay maybe. Yeah. yeah yeah we'll do that okay. Oh, sorry. So you were thinking of boulders to sort of something, some maybe some smaller bigger yeah. boulders, and then some. Yeah, we'll go for a walk because some sure. of that you could just bring brush in yeah. and, and kind of scrape it. It'll it, just as long as it looks like you shouldn't be walking right. there, it'll heal itself. Because right? some of it isn't that wide, but yeah. it'll keep getting worse and worse. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But that's that's the uh, in a nutshell. That's okay. the maintenance plan for the season. Yeah. Thanks, Chad. Um, what was my question? Hang on, I did have. Oh, my question was for Beth. Um, we did ask Jesse if August was appropriate for thistle pull, but that's totally movable. If you think that it's better to do in spring or to add one in spring and do one in in um, late, it's well, fall. August is fine. I was going to ask about that. So because. Like you're gonna have some of your crew as well, like because yeah. um, we are planning with the whiskey jacks to do yeah. a, a pull, so we could probably do probably. stuff like right on boardwalk or something. And yeah, yeah, I'm I not think sure we, what you were planning. We were planning on partnering with you yeah, guys, and right. remember you had said we could do a communication act to the community and have people right. come and join us. So that's what we're looking to do for August. And I just wanted to make sure that that timeline works because we'll have to advertise for that in advance. Yeah, and just communication. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, that was my question. Uh, yeah, this is so full. Um, yeah. But yeah, you've kind of answered that, like sort of because we did that last year. But it's nice, like you you supplied all the bags and yeah. and took everything away, yeah. or not in this case, I think Chris did. But you would have the yeah, of course. yeah. So I think that was we we we're, we're planning on. Uh, it's a clean up in the spring as well. So I'll we'll probably we've still got lots of those bags left. So, yeah. But I'll let you know. Any other any other supplies you need if we have them, we could probably be yeah, for as well. Okay. Yeah, no, that was my question. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, anyone else have any questions or comments on the maintenance plan? I did have a question for you, Chad, if anyone else does. Um, widening and, and new railings on the old bridge at near section SA, I understand to get uh, maintenance equipment back there. Where would you come from with the gator and the gravel? And so you can come from basically from uh, the Sutherland entrance and you would just, you, it's, it's a bit of a haul, but you can come all the way down like along the college, lower college trail there, or the college trail, and then just come back. And so you would come back along and you would around T, the T section there. Yep. That's where you would come in. So yeah, you're not cutting across anything. You're just sticking to the gravel trail the whole way. Yeah, just loop all yeah. the way down yeah. to, until you hit the Happy Creek yeah. Trail and then come before, back a bit. Before we had that little S section in, we that's how we would like re resurface that section. Okay. We had to do it. And that's basically the only way you can get to the stuff that's east of section S, right? Is to come around that way and yeah. across the bridge. I think until, honestly, until we're allowed to come in off that uh, pipeline section, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Or if mm -hmm. At some point, they allow us to come along that roadway. I think the easiest way is that. Uh, this trail yeah, but perfect okay yes um so have have you approached the pipeline or is that something to do in the future so we did have a couple preliminary conversations with them and then um director of protective services is connecting with them as well because it would be a separate access for um, emergency vehicles and agreements and that kind of thing. So it's moving, but it's slow. Yeah. Um, I don't want to start a different conversation here, but what is the lifespan of that bridge? That old one? Yeah, is there any? Well, see, and that's that's what we're going to kind of, it may not happen, but that, that's kind of what we're going to, we're going to work on that bridge. And if we can, if it will support and kind of that's our plan for we're just going to see if we can fix that bridge up as best as possible support it as much as possible it's a, it's a pretty solid bridge honestly i mean like you get the washouts on the, on the gravel on the ends of it and I mean, there is some rotting issue but i think for the most part we've rectified that over the last couple of years so. um <clears throat> when they go out to do their assessment to see whether they can widen it part of that is working with with ash and he will run the numbers for us and let us know like can it carry the load but also is it worth doing at this point or should it just be removed and rethought right um so he'll give us an assessment of what we need to do when we get out there in the spring oh, thanks ash is the engineering technologist that works in infrastructure right. services Sorry. right yes yeah. yes so he's a town town employee mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions, comments? Okay, if there's nothing further, we will move on to uh, 5.1 bylaw 1158-1 and website updates. Let me find my agenda. So today I met with our communications court, actually back up. Last night at council, council adopted the amended terms of reference and the, the bylaw. Um, so we now are operating under bylaw 1158-1 um, with the new maps and the recommendations that the committee did approve. Um, the website, our communications coordinator, I met with her today. So the links should be live by the end of the week because the document itself, the bylaw needs to be signed by the mayor off to uh, the executive assistant over to comms, upload it onto the website. Then she's gonna go in and up, uh, make all of the connections from our um, web page, joining those links so that you can get to uh, the appropriate documents that people may be looking for. Um, so as soon as that's live, I'll send around a note to you guys. Um, we also made an adjustment to reflect um, Alice's departure from the committee. So the page will update um, saying that we have a call for applications, 
uh, council approved us to start advertising for that last night as well. Um, and then, of course, we've also um, any small updates. So, like, for example, on the bottom, it now says instead of vacant positions, none, it's reflective of uh, Alice's departure. So just regular housekeeping stuff, trying to stay on top of that as things shift. Um, and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you guys know that it did pass. It's up. And yeah. Any anything regarding that? Yeah. Might as well ask. There was some, um, I'm not sure uh, I didn't look at the agenda for uh, yesterday, last night's council meeting, but the council before the um, in terms of reference had those two additional sections. Or were those still in? No, they were not. So council actually on the committee of the whole meeting, you know, yesterday was seven, the week before, right. they made a motion to remove those. So the version that was brought back had just the recommendations from the committee. Oh, okay. And that's what passed. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Eddie, anything else? Okay, seeing nothing, we'll move on to 5.2 free grant update. I'm just gonna finish my note, just one second. Yep, take your time, no pressure. <laughs> oh, I spell you messed up now. Um, <laughs> writing notes I won't remember later. Uh, free grant update. So I have reached out to them and I've requested um, a response letter. I was told it'll be about uh two weeks and that it was coming so that's where we're at right now as soon as i have something depending on the contents i may reach out to counselor stashik to have us come together sooner than the regular schedule if we have to address anything immediately um or just as as information even if it has to be like a quick online meeting um nothing yet that's what i got okay anybody any comments or questions or anything about the free grant update or the free grant in general. Oh, can I add something? No, 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 it's too late. No, no. Um, Chad actually went and he ex uh, there's a new parks company. They're called Parks Works, and there are essentially two companies that have come together. And one of their um salespeople came out to take a look at kind of the facilities that we have in Hinton, meet Chad. Um, and he actually provided us a packet of some like well over 50 parks grants. And we did an assessment of those today and about five of them are applicable to boardwalk or other areas. So we've already started investigating which ones we could potentially bring back to the table to apply on um, and then kind of the timeline. So we're sorting that out with communications now, uh, but it's really exciting. So I just wanted to share that. Cool. All right, okay. Oh, hey, Kevin, good to see you. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> uh, okay, so if there's nothing further regarding free grant update, we'll move on. Uh, 5.3, Maxwell Lake Bridge ramps update. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Um, I have chatted with Mr. Russo. I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update as to where that's at, uh, the tender. So as you guys know, the tender went out. Um, they have selected a proponent, but nothing has been signed off, sealed, delivered yet. Um, as soon as that's done, he's gonna let me know so that I can just give you guys that information because it does become public. Oh, Jan. Okay. Uh, Jan and then Trevor. Did he give you any sort of idea on how long this is gonna take? Until it's built? No, until you, until they award it finally. I would say it'll be done two, three weeks tops. Absolute tops. Before they actually award it to the company? No, oh, no, before it becomes public. And construction is not going to begin until then? I don't know about construction at this point. I did try to ask. Hey, Trevor? Uh, will the Will the bid list become public? Will the pardon me? The bid list, like the list of all the bidders and the prices. Typically, yes. Oh, thank you. Is it? Mm -hmm. We did for boardwalk. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. Any other questions 
Prosperity Bridge ramps update. Okay, there's nothing else. We'll move to round table. Round table. Well, apparently, yeah. Wild. Uh, let's start. Well, let's start on screen. Joan, you want to start? Yeah, I would love to start. Um, I, I'll be honest. I do really, I don't really have anything to update, but uh, fortunately, reading week is coming up for university. So all I can say is I can't wait to come back to Hinton for a few days and enjoy the natures of things again. So, yeah. Okay, thanks, John. Jan? I have nothing to update. Okay, thanks, Jan. Kevin? Yeah, sorry for being late. Um, good news is the Icefields Parkway is now open if you wanted to drive to Lake Louise tonight. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, yeah, not much else. Um, I, I expected it would be a longer meeting. <laughs> anyway, but good to see you all. Yeah. yeah thanks, Kevin. Oh. Uh, nothing to update. Thank you. Oh, Beth? Um, no, I'm looking forward to others' updates here. Okay. Trevor? Uh, nothing really to update. Uh, I haven't been to the Beaver Boardwalk in about a month now, so I don't know if someone's taken over, but I sure miss Fonson's care of the, <laughs> the oval. I know. Yeah. A lot of people did. Yep. But it's like nothing. Okay. Thanks. Uh, for myself, I have nothing either. Who wants to go first? You go first. I'll go. Yes. I, I have nothing to add. <laughs> okay. So, at our last meeting, Allison put forward a motion to try and have conversation around the bridge. And there was a bit of back and forth around whether that was procedurally allowable. So, I did a bit of research, a couple conversations, um, and I have typed all of this out. But I don't know if it's clear, so I just want to advise you guys now if there's questions and I can go back, revise this, and then send it around so we all have it, because um, it is a little bit convoluted. So the mechanism for which we could have addressed this um, is through a motion to reconsider. Now, in order to do that, though, a member on the prevailing side of the original vote, which is Trevor, Tom, Jan, and Councillor Astashik, could opt to bring a, a motion forward, similar to the one Alice did that, um, so just saying, let's, let's reconsider this um, and state the reason for which you're bringing that motion. Why do we need to reconsider this? Um, so, and that, that reason has to take into consideration um, either new or additional information uh, that has developed since the original motion um at that time then we do regular debate around whether that should um for or against the reconsideration um then it's called to question the majority vote will prevail just as per usual um if the motion to reconsider passes the new motion may be debated and called to question so that's when we could potentially then um could have taken alice's motion right and had uh, gone from there on it and then i also included the uh, a picture like a snap from the bylaw verbiage so that everybody can see where that is as well question i have a clarifying question yet so based on that and the motion that alice made that was postponed mm -hmm. until we had a additional information yeah. wouldn't be Correct. A valid motion until there's a motion to reconsider and that passes. Correct. Then the motion that Alice made could be uh, somebody else would have to put raised from the correct. Table. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe for, um, the, for the motion to reconsider, is there is there a threshold we have to get the two thirds majority or something like that? Or is it just majority vote? Uh, I believe just majority vote. Excellent question. I was just I now need to know that. You guys are learning. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look into that. I know there's some cases where that is, but I don't know. And I read it so many different places that I could be thinking of a different section of the bylaw. So I'll, I just want to know now. So I'll yeah. dig into that. 
something that I read, but I, again, I can't place it. So. Okay. Maybe are there any other comments or questions about that? Okay, there's no further questions. I guess that brings us to the end of round table. Next meeting date scheduled for, sorry? So, um, oh no, that was March. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, next meeting date scheduled for Wednesday, March 8th, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. time. Second Wednesday in March at 6.30. Uh, I think that's it. Is there anything? Yeah, I just want to tell Kevin the um, um, the discussion on the conservation area and the West Area Structure Plan is being uh, happening in March, like it's planned for the March uh, meeting. So I think you. Okay. Just, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It was a, it was on the tip of my tongue here, and now you just answered it. So great, thanks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay. That brings us to the end of the agenda. Nothing further. We need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Dom, motion to adjourn. All those in favor? That's carried unanimously. We are adjourned. Thanks, everyone. Hi, everybody.